what's going on guys welcome back today we are doing the skill assessment for the sql injection fundamentals as you can see we've got it loaded up we went ahead and went to the website we are good to go so the only tip they give us is assess the web application use a variety of techniques to gain remote code execution and find a flag so we have to put together everything they gave us and find the flag right sounds pretty simple sounds pretty easy let's go ahead and get into it before we do make sure you hit that like button hit that sub button if you guys appreciate it because i appreciate you guys and also this video is coming out today but i will be posting um I'm not sure when, but because I'll have to edit the video, but um, I will be posting all of the videos together if you want to walk through and do the entire thing. So it'll just be all the YouTube videos. I'll cut the intro off and put them all in one transition. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we go. So first thing, we see the username, we see a password. 90% likely we have to try and bypass this, right? That's the first step. That's why I brought this up. You can see up here, if we go to right here authentication bypass so we're just going to follow along right it's that simple sometimes we're going to do what they said so we can see here go down to right here and try and put this in let's see what happens all right let me say admin one equals one password oh it didn't work okay let's see what what we're looking at so this is where sql injection a lot of people give up on this and I'll tell you, don't give up, try new things. So one thing, if we talked about it before in the past is you have to do what's called quote balancing. So we have to have these quotes have to all match up. Well, typically we expect that it's going to give us an extra quote. It's going to add that quote on here for us. But what if it doesn't, what if we need to add it? Let's try. Nope. Okay. So what, what else do we think? So we know that we, we are on the right ballpark, right? We, we at least know that at least we can guess that. So what if we just have to do it properly? What if we say, let's go ahead and do that again. So what if it's very specific about its, um, there we go. What if it's very specific about its payload, right? So we say admin, or maybe it needs to be exactly the way they want it, right? Maybe we need to comment it the rest out so it doesn't keep building it out, right? What if we close the quotes and then comment the rest out? Now we don't have to worry about quote balancing, at least in this case, because we know there's a quote here and we know that we're ending the quote and then putting comments. We're saying, hey, that's all we want, right? So mess with the payload a little bit. Oh, look at that, we're in. So just like that, we're in. Now, some of you may say, okay, cool, you got the admin account, but we need to get on the on the actual machine itself, and you are correct. So we have the search function. Well, if they had SQL injection in the username and password, they probably have SQL injection in the search function. So what's the best way we can do the search function? If you remember, we can search for anything, right? And you can see I already did this. We'll do union select. If you remember, you do this, we got the comment, then we do union, and we're gonna select and we're going to select one And the point of this is we're trying to see how many columns does it have that we have to match where we can actually put the payload because when we search you'll see oh the this the use select statement has a different number of columns so that wouldn't return anything even if we did it so let's do it again let's go to two nothing doesn't have the same amount of columns let's go to three doesn't have the same amount of columns let's go to four doesn't have the same amount of columns and you can guess it if we go to five look at that it prints out the information that we've put it which is one two three four five right so we've said union select and then we put one two three four five so that we can see it like this because we have to figure out if we inject our payload where is it going to print out right well we know if we would to put it in the first column we wouldn't see it it just it's not here it doesn't exist but if we put it in two three four or five we can actually gain something from it. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and do that. Let's say we'll do five, but maybe we'll just do two. We'll put it in two. So in two, we'll just say like right off the bat, we'll just say user. Who are we actually logged in as? Let's see if it works. Oh, look at that. We're root. So right off the bat, we are root, which means, okay, we're, we're in pretty good case. Now, if you read the bot, read the, um, try hacking module and you go through the next step it says is check permissions and all of that stuff. You guys can feel free to do that. If you get root on a machine, 
or if you're using root, yes, I understand that it doesn't, it, I'll say this, I understand that it doesn't always mean that you're going to get whatever you want, but I'm not going to go through and check the permissions. If I have root, I'm going to try and go to the next step, which is we're going to try and manipulate files and things like that on here. So first thing we're going to do, add that payload back, right? We got to keep editing it. So I want to keep using the this two field. You can use whatever field you feel confident about. You can use, as you can see, two, three, four, five, whatever field you want. I'm going to keep using two. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to start pulling what tables we need, right? Because if you remember, we can go back to it here. Let me pull it back up right here. If we go back to you can see. Do, 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 do. Where was it? I think it was the last one we just did. Database enumeration right here. We need to start pulling files from it, right? So we need to see, we've got this, the union statement, but what is the schema name? Let's go straight for that, right? We don't have to use the, uh, so we'll do this union. Uh, boo, 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 boo. So we've got the union select. We'll just get rid of all this, paste that in there. And we're going to ask the schema schemata information for the, and you can see I have D in here and you got to put that comma in there. All right. So we're going to ask it for the schema names. All right. looks like it has a different number of columns, probably because I didn't edit it. Right? So that only has four. We have five. So make sure you edit it before you do it. So one, two, three, four, and five. I put a period. Hopefully, I didn't. I might have put a period in there. Um, okay. So different number of columns there. It says as well. So we have union select one. Schema name is two. Then three. Then four. Then comma five. Okay. I think I put a period in the first one. If I'm being honest, which if I did, I apologize. So. All right should be good there we go so now we can see and if we look at it pretty well does is exactly like the one the box we've already done which is we've got the information the mysql performance we have ill freight and backup now if we read the question let's see if there's uh user variety okay so it doesn't say anything about where it might be um but ill freight and then backup i'll say backup usually don't quote me on this but usually the backups have um different things in them but so we can keep enumerating this but one of the things we want to look at is do we have access to write files right so you can see we could sit here and we could enumerate all the databases all that stuff but if we can just get on the machine we can bypass all that right at least that's my my assumption right so what we can do is we can go back and i, I keep going back you guys don't have to do this i do this so that you guys can see that where i'm getting the information because a lot of times people ask me like how would you just know that how would you just know that right well when you're doing boxes like this they're kind of just telling you so you don't have to just know it right they're giving it to you so we can go through here and look at this we can say uh not this one. I don't care. I know that we have secure file privileges because we're on route. Now I don't always assume that, but so we can do this. We can say, find the exact one they gave us. Here we go. The select file, right? We can go here. We can go here and we can say, use that union, right? So whoops, we'll use the union select five, right? Take out the two and say, do, 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 do. And I know I've, I've got to edit this because it already kind of put it all in there for me. Um, so we want to say select, we'll get rid of the second select. So we want to say select, and then we're going to say file written successfully. That's just a test saying, hey, if this works, it'll say file written successfully, right? And then we want to say, get rid of into out file because that next should be our three, four, five, whatever. And then we'll just add those in ourselves. Okay, so now three, four, five. And what we're gonna do is say after the three, four, five is simply say into, and by the way, I'm not putting this in caps, it's already doing it. So if you're trying to figure out why I'm doing it in caps, it's already doing it. 
Um, and then the out file will just be var www.html, just like before, not htlm, html, just like they did. And then if you look, we need this dashboard because that's where our actual um, file is. That's where we have access to, so dashboard. And then you'll just say proof.txt because you're going to put the proof in here, right? And then see if we've got our we've got our comments already in there. Let's make sure we have our quotes in there. Looks good. We hit enter. We get nothing back. That's good. Typically, that's good, right? So we're going to now say copy this and go here, say paste, and we should see proof.txt if we can write to files. And look at that. We can write to files. So what's that mean? It means we can get a shell already, right? We don't have to do anything crazy. We can actually get a shell. So we've got our proof.txt here, and that's the same thing that they had us do earlier. So now all we got to do is get our shell. And if you remember, we'll go back to it. And I know I keep going back and forth, but it's just easy to show you. If we can write a file, we can just do this PHP system request. Look at this, copy this exact thing. We just have to change the um, do, 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 the columns here because they've added those columns. We're going to keep them at one, two, three, four. So that way you guys can um, can see it. So what we'll do, 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 go through here. There we go. And we're going to make sure we change these to four and five. So five, I don't want spaces in there. Um, actually, we will keep spaces in there just to keep it clean. So what we'll do, just just to keep it clean, we'll keep spaces in there. But we do have to add that fifth column. If you don't add a fifth column, then it's not going to work. Okay, should be good. And we named it shell.php. Uh, looks like can't write to file var HTML. That's because we're not, that's the wrong path, right? If you remember, we need an HTML dashboard. Dashboard shell.php. The select statement has a different number of columns. Okay, I didn't change that one. I'm all over the place right now. No, I'm just doing it fast. Um, so we need to change dashboard shell.php. And then we got to make sure we add that fifth column again. If we don't add that fifth column, it doesn't work. Okay, so there we go. Okay, we get nothing back. That's what we should get. Now when we go here to dashboard and we say shell.php, right? What we should get is we should actually put something in where the zero is. If you remember that zero, it's requesting zero. Do you, if you guys don't remember that, go back to the last video. The last video is where I did it. And then we're just going to say, hey, what do we want to request? And we can change it to whatever we want. You can see that if we go to here and you look, request zero, all we have to do is say blank zero equals whatever. And we can make it anything we want. So we're going to say here, shell.php. And then we can say zero equals and in this case, we'll just say ls for now, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, and you can see we have dashboard, dashboard, da, 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 proof.txt, which is the one that we just did. So now we have a working shell that we can manipulate and mess with. And the question is, and we're already root, so um, find a flag in the root directory. So we can just say ls, whoops, ls in the root directory. And there we go, we have uh, flag ca whatever this is copy that and we can say cat that flag and it didn't work why didn't it work probably because of the space and this underscore so we have to url encode it let's see if this cheat sheet has it on here so i don't have to go through do 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 nope okay doesn't have it on there that's fine what we'll do is we'll take this right here copy it go to we'll just do it in here cyber chef and you can do it you can just look it up there's this one's only a couple so it's not very much but I'll show you so we'll put the input right and then we'll say 
URL and code. Here's our output. And let's take a look. So now we go here and instead of the PHP equaling that, we'll have it equal that and we should be good. And maybe we got it wrong because we're getting nothing here. Let's take a look. Okay, flag CA da 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 da. Oh, it didn't even change. So you can put spaces in here, interesting. Okay, I wonder why you can't why we can't cat it. So we'll have to kind of mess with it some more and see why we can't cat it. But we could also, instead of doing cat, we could load the file itself. Maybe it's a weird file. I'm not sure. Let's see. Maybe we don't have permissions to it, but we're root, so we should. Um, so let's go ahead and try a different technique. I'm not sure why catting it's not working. Let's go back. Let's do this. Let's see if we, have, we can actually cat the rest of the files in there. So if we say, oh, I can tell you why I can't cat it. Why did nobody fix? Why is nobody correcting me here? You guys are letting me slide here. It's because I'm in the wrong directory. There is no file name that you clown. What am I doing? There we go. What am I doing? <laughs> I this is what happens when you're flying through these things. There you go. That was an easy fix. And then there you go. Pretty easy. So, oh, incorrect answer. Maybe it's not pretty easy. They're saying this isn't the the right one. Um, assess the web application, submit the contents of the flag as your answer. Maybe it's that space at the end. There it was, it's a space at the end. So very easy, very fun. I like the module. I like the SQL injection um, that they taught. It's a very fun box. Um, realistically, you can knock this out pretty fast. The assessment at the end, very nice. I like it. Um, pretty easy, pretty simple. But I want to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Is this something that you guys enjoy? Excuse me. Is this something you guys enjoy doing? Is this something that you struggle with? Um, what What do you guys think about SQL injection? Because I see people all the time still on SQL injection saying, I don't understand how this is still a thing and I don't understand that, et cetera, et cetera. I want to know your guys' opinion on it because I have my opinions, but I want to save those. You can hop in the Discord. We can chat about it, but I'm not going to just go on a rant about SQL injection. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this helped you guys and put a like on that video. It helps me out a ton. Thank you guys. Have a great day.